Welcome to another episode of Fucking With Computers. I am your host, Patrick Edgington, and we are back again looking at how stuffed clams, New England clam chowder, steamed man lobster, Austin baked beans, and apple pie can combine to make your computer blazing fast. So, Last time we took our slow process of cooking one thing at a time, and we put it in our pipeline. I got Alice, Bob, Carol, and Dan to help me manage all that. But you were probably thinking we should be using that stove more. My stove at home's got four burners. Why not use them all? No, 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 no. We do not want to try that. Can you imagine having four people trying to use the stove all at the same time? But what if we could? Maybe we could fit a couple people around the back side of the stove. As long as we got enough hardware to cook up that next dish coming, we could have all our dishes in the same stage. They could all be on that stove or getting plated at once. But we definitely need to keep track of all that. But our food wouldn't need to wait around when it's not doing anything. So our clam chowder wouldn't need to use the oven this time. Instead, we can go straight to plate it. We could also skip other steps we don't need, like baking the lobster. And maybe we don't really need to tickle that lobster before we toss him in the pot. And maybe there's some others too. Well, looky there. I got all my stuff done one cycle sooner, and my first three dishes can go out at the same time. This it's what we call Thomas Sudo's algorithm. Now, sure, we're going to have to pay more attention to tracking what we're doing, where it's going, and we still can't let the apple pie go out before the appetizers. But it gets the food cooked sooner. Now, once we substitute some computer instructions and hardware for our vittles and our stove, it'll be just like managing our computer architecture again. And that will make your computer run blazing fast. I will see you again next time on Cooking with Computers.